The Trade Assistant TF Expert is offered for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the expert file for the MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 platforms and run it on the chart. Traders can also read this page to understand how the expert works and operates. We select the expert file from the navigator section and run the expert by dragging the file onto the chart. Just make sure that the algorithm trading option is activated and then click on the confirm button. When the expert advisor is executed on the chart, a trade management and capital management panel is displayed on the chart. Expert advisor, CF, is a desktop tool suitable for managing trades on the price chart. By clicking on the expert advisor panel, traders can easily move the panel on the chart and move it to their preferred position. In the upper section, there are two options for us. By clicking on the first option, a warning message will be displayed. By selecting the Yes option, the expert will be closed and removed from the chart. By selecting the No option, the expert will remain on the chart. By selecting the second option, Minimize, the expert will change to its minimum size, and you can only see the remaining time until the current candle closes in this section. By clicking on this option again, the expert will return to its default state. In the lower section, you can see the remaining time until the current candle closes. Below that, there are three tabs for us, the Trade tab, the Visual tab, and the Instant Management tab. In the lower section, you can see the remaining time until the current candle closes. In the lower section, we have three tabs, the Trade tab, the Visual tab, and the Instant Management tab. In our first tab, the Trade tab, we have trading options which by selecting the buy option, create a buy position for us instantly. You can see your tip in green and your stable coin in red in this section. You can also see the profit limit and stop loss amount along with the profit tick price level and the stable coin price level in this section. In the entry point section where all the weights are highlighted, you can see the entry level for the trade, as well as the amount of your profit or loss. In the section opposite it, there are four options for us. The break-even option, the partial exit or partial close option, the trailing option, and finally the close option, which closes the trade by selecting the close option. In the opposite section, there are also four options for us. The break-even option, the partial exit or partial close option, the trailing option, and finally the close option. By selecting the Sell button, you can open a Sell position instantly and execute the position. At the bottom are two options, Buy Pending and Sell Pending. Selecting the Buy Pending option specifies an entry level for us. And we can select the entry level for the trade in this section. We can set the Take Profit and Stop Loss Amounts from this section. And by clicking on the List option, we can place our order or by selecting the new order option, we can cancel our order. Here, I will click on the list option, and we can see that it has specified my take, profit and stop, loss amounts in this section. On the opposite side, we can open a trade in the same way. A pending sell. Here I cancel my pending order by selecting the new option. In the lower section, you can specify the amount of the transaction entry volume, which you can enter here. You can either increase the transaction volume by one hundredth of a percent by selecting the button on the right, or decrease the transaction volume by one hundredth of a percent by selecting the button on the left. By selecting the second option, you can increase the transaction volume by one-tenth. And by selecting the option on the left, you can decrease the transaction volume by one-tenth. In the lower part, you can enable or disable the status of the stablecoin or tick profit so that your transaction has a stablecoin or tick profit or old. And in 
The opposite section, you can specify the amount of the stable coin based on points, percentages, or dollars. In this section, which is set to dollars by default, and in the opposite section, you can also set your desired volume. For example, here I want my stop loss to be 1% of the balance and I want my take profit to be based on a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 2. I will execute the trade here. And we can see that the stop loss amount has been set in relation to my take profit. In the second level, i.e. visual medicine, by selecting the visual order option, you can see an R to R visual in this section, which you can easily place on the sampler by clicking on the second level, i.e. the Tosirang level. The values of the entry volume, entry price, and the R bar value are displayed here. In the upper section, you can see your ticker feed, which you can move up or down. Here you can see the level of the trade and the profit amount along with the amount of profit you are taking in the trade. You can see in this section the amount of profit you are setting. The bottom section displays the stablecoin price level along with the amount of the stablecoin loss and finally the amount of loss you are currently taking on the trade here. You can specify your pending buy or pending sell and by clicking on each option, your pending order will be registered. In the lower section you can see the stable coin and take profit values panel which displays the price of the entry level for the trade. In the lower section, your stable coin is displayed along with the stable coin price level. You can see the stablecoin level value in this section. By moving the ticker, the values increase or decrease. In the last section, your tick profit is displayed, which shows you the price level of the tick profit along with the amount of the tick or the amount of your loss in case of a tick. In this section, you can choose sell pinning or buy pinning. Here I am. I chose the pending sale but the deal was cancelled for me because I didn't enter my trade amounts correctly. Here, if I need to register a pending sale, my stop loss should be above the entry point and my take profit should be below the entry point before I can register my trade here. In the next tab, which is the money management tab, you can manage your capital in this section. In the first section, there is the break even option. You can perform your break even in three modes points, percentages, and dollars. Here, you can enter the break even volume and your break even amount in this section. Just make sure that the break even amount is greater than your stability level. In any symbol you are in, from the market watch section, you can right click on the symbol of your choice. And from the specification section, by selecting this option, you can view your stablecoin level. There is a level at which you can position your minimum stablecoin, and at the very least make your break even. The best way is to add the point level to whatever your stablecoin is. And then, in order to make your break even. Or you can set it based on the correct amount. For example, if one right moves out of your entry price, then it will do the take profit for you. Or it can be based on dollars. For example, if you made a right move of a thousand dollars, it will do the take profit for you. In the next section, you can set a trailing stop and the trailing stop management values are located in this section. In the first section is the trail start, 
nettle, and in the second section is the trail. Step, nettle. The first option is related to the time you executed the trade. For example, here I am executing a buy trade. If my price value here moves 100 points and moves up, we consider this 100 as 100 points here. And if the price moves up and when this set point is reached, our stub level becomes a trailing stub and moves to the 50 point level. After that, it starts trailing stub. The amount we entered here and the set point will move upwards so that if the price breaks this level again, the set point moved up. My stub level moves to a level 50 points lower than the amount we specified. At the first level, the amount is 50 points in the trellis step. This means that every set point, the set point moves up and puts my stub 50 points lower. At the bottom, it also moves down. There are three options available for us, and if we have a lot of trades, we can click on this option to close all trades at once. For example, I will open several trades here. By clicking on this option, we see that the whole deal was closed for us. In the next section, there is the break even option, which, if all of your trades or only the trades that are in profit and are greater than the amount you set, have more than the middle of your stablecoin, break even will perform all of your trades for you and move your stablecoin from the loss section to the entry point. Just make sure to note that if you need to break even, it will only move your stop loss from the loss level to the entry point. If you have moved your stability level to your profit range, such that you have set a trailing stop, then the break even won't be applicable for you. In the last section, there is a close pending option if you have placed a large number of pending trades. By clicking on the close pending option, all your pending trades will be closed. Well, friends, we have reached the end of this expert's training. We would be happy if you share your comments and suggestions with us in the comments section.